Hey everyone, today we're doing something a little different. A tarot reading for the upcoming US presidential election. Now, before you start rolling your eyes, let me tell you, this isn't about predicting a winner or pushing any political agenda whatsoever. It's about using tarot as a lens to give us a different perspective. So sit back, relax, and keep an open mind. First of all, let me give you a a little bit of a backstory. I got introduced to the tarot a long time ago, over 30 years ago, actually, when my best friend Caesar and I stumbled upon this deck, the JJ1 Swiss Tarot. It's special, not just because it survived with me through all these years, but because, but because it's one of the very few items I still have from my home in Puerto Rico, which was destroyed during Hurricane Maria. In fact, this deck is the last thing that belonged to both Caesar and me. He passed away some time ago, and whenever I pull these cards, I feel his presence with me. Caesar was a bit of a trickster. He loved pranks, identified himself with the fool, and was always curious about the future. I like to think he's got all the answers now. But enough nostalgia, let's get into it, shall we? I'll be using a simple three card spread today. It's straightforward and to the point. For the skeptical out there, think of it as storytelling, a way of to explore possibilities and ideas. I'm not saying this is the answer. I'm just saying I'm, it's just a reflection, a glimpse of the path ahead. And remember, the tarot doesn't tell you who will win or lose. It just gives you insight, a possible direction. It's up to you to interpret and decide what resonates. So let's get those three cards. I'll pull them out one by one and we'll reveal them together. Here's to embracing a bit of mystery and keeping things open-ended. So I set them in three groups. And here we go. I'm going to ask the question with all the intention in my heart. Who will be the next president of, Uni of the United States after this U.S. election. Okay, you're watching this at the same time that I am. You're going to witness what these cards are going to be. There we have the Three of Cups. The Knight of Coins. And you have Six of Staffs. Now, let's read this together, shall we? Three of Cups. First of all, starting with this card. This card is all about community, celebration, and unity. It's often associated with groups of people coming together, joyfully celebrating a shared goal or outcome. In the context of an election, this card could signify that the result will bring a sense of collective relief or unity, or that people will come together in support of the outcome. It suggests a period of cooperation with a possible sense of optimism, as if the chosen candidate will inspire people to celebrate or bring about some positive sense of togetherness. Now, the Knight of Coins or Pentacles is methodical, practical, and committed to hard work. This card typically represents someone grounded, responsible, and steady, focusing on long-term gains rather than quick wins. When it appears in this context, it could be signaling a candidate who is viewed as stable, consistent, and dedicated to incremental progress. This individual might not be the most dynamic figure, but would be someone who is reliable and focused on practical outcomes. This card suggests that the winner, winning candidate could be someone with a steady, pragmatic approach, likely to focus on policies that emphasize stability and gradual sustained improvement. I think you get a sense of who this could be. 
by just that description. Now, the Six of Wands or Staffs, this card is a classic symbol of victory and public recognition. The Six of Wands often depicts a figure receiving an acclaim, riding forward com confidently and celebrated by others. That is in the Rider Waite. This is the JJ1 Tarot deck, which you won't see that figure. But if you look it up, you'll see that victorious figure we're talking about. It's a powerful card that represents success, leadership, and triumph in the eyes of the public. This card is an indicator that the person who wins will do so with a clear sense of victory and support from the public, basking in acknowledgement. It reinforces the idea that the result would be decisive and well received by a significant portion of the population. In other words, we might see a landslide in this election. Putting it all together, this combination of these three cards suggests an election outcome that will bring about a feeling of collective celebration and unity through the Three of Cups, a leader with a practical and steady approach, Knight of Coins, and a clear, decisive victory with public recognition, the Six of Wands. This reading hints at the candidate who may not be flashy or radically transformative, but is viewed as reliable and a unifying force. The cards don't point to a specific candidate, but suggest that the winner will be someone seen as a, with this, as a steady hand, capable of uniting different groups and gaining wide support. Whatever the outcome, it seems likely to bring a collective sense of accomplishment and hope, with the winner taking on a practical grounded role that prioritizes stability and consistent progress. So according to these cards, we're looking at a leader who will step in with both recognition and a vision for stability. A result that might surprise us with how many people come together and support the outcome. Now, I know that for some of you, this might seem surprising and you might be a little skeptical, but this is what the cards are giving me. Let's see how it plays out and remember to keep an open mind. But this is a tight race. How can so many people get together in a, in a, especially in a climate that's so polarized in this country. I mean, people are sort of div uh, divided uh, among party lines and, and even gender. How come this is the result? How come this is, this doesn't make much sense, right? But this is what the cards are telling me. I'm just interpreting this reading with the symbolism and, and the images that the cards bring into it. So take it with a grain of salt as it is. Who knows? This election might actually surprise us. I know it looks contentious and there's one side that is not willing to uh, accept the results if it doesn't go their way, but who knows? This might actually surprise us. I hope. I hope we all come together in the end and accept the results and move forward as a country. That's it. So, closing thoughts. Whether or not you believe in the power of tarot, it's always valuable to look at the situations from a different perspective. Cards don't make up our minds for us. They just offer a lens. If you're watching this on election day and haven't voted yet, what are you waiting for? Our choices shape the future. We forge our own destinies. Whatever happens, remember that sometimes things unfold as they're meant to. Stay open to change. Be willing to accept whatever the, whatever the outcome may be. And may the archetypes that guide us, whether gods, angels, muses, or cosmic forces, whatever you want to believe in, bring clarity and uni unity. God bless the United States of America. Peace. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for sticking around till the end. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. Also, check out the video on the screen right now for more insights and inspiration. Your support means everything to me and helps this channel grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.